Yo, what is talking guys? We are here with week 4 of the PMC Orange League um, versus the Blackman Ride Cougars and their coach Zam Pro aka Scooter aka Scotty aka a very good friend of mine and we are both 1 and 2 right now I think after week 3 and this is obviously my team builder for um, this upcoming ma upcoming matchup which is pretty crucial because you don't want to start with 3 wins in a 10 week season because like Going 7-3 would be very hard and I think you'd need at least 6 or 7 wins to make playoffs so um, I have to basically win this game here in order to like put myself in a very good position to make playoffs so we are here with my team builder for school and I, I cooked, I cooked up some heat versus his pretty threatening squad so let's hop right into it. Um, let me put up this little Scotty team here, there we go. Um, here's Weaver, Thunderous Eye which is a Z crystal user. Nido Queen, Arkham, Mega Medicham, Coferius, Empoleon, Whimsicott, Ditto, Drampa, and Shackle. Um, the squad I'm bringing is gonna be Lopani, Mega Edition, obviously, Crawdon, um, Gliga, Mew, Silvelli, and Piyuku Muku, the God. Um, looking at the squad, he doesn't have a really good switch in for Lopani or Crawdon. Um, Obviously, he has like Coferius, which can always take a hit from Lopani. Same with a defensive Arcanine or defensive Middle Queen. But all of them are absolutely shut down by Coferius. So, um, what I can do with my with my Mega Lop here is set up a substitute potentially on uh, on a defensive Coferius and Baton pass out into Crawdon to get a kill. Um, rinse, repeat the process, and this like I will need. To bring in Crawdon six times in order to win this matchup, even though like I expect Coferius to be a Cobra very variant, maybe even a Pasho, Nido Queen, or Arcanine, uh, which both would make sense just to take a hit from um, from Crawdon at least and get off get off a big hit or in Coferius case a Will O Wisp as well. Um, this Lopan here has returned a Drain Punch. I don't really want or need High Jump Kick. Uh, with the substitute, I'd much rather like to have my um, get my health back. In order to take at least one hit from the Weaver or the Thunderous, unless it's a <coughs> excuse me, uh, a all up pummeling set with Z Focus Blast, um, it would, would allow me to take one hit from the Nido Queen, um, one Moon Blast from Whimsicott, unless it's Life Orb or something, and yeah, like just give me like more longevity to get up subs on the Cofagrius. Um I don't know why I have 148. EVs like I want to get up as many <laughs> subs as possible, but with Drain Punch and me eventually taking rocks damage or some damage, I don't think it matters. Um, I have enough speed for Max Speed Thunderous Eye. I don't really expect him to bring Jolly Weaver because Adamant Weaver outspeeds everything that's not Mega Lopani and it even outspeeds like stuff like plus one Crawdon and shit like that. So he doesn't really have to run, uh, to run um, Adamant. I like have enough speed for it. Timid Thunderous Eye, which is all I need basically. Um, I don't really think he will like go any faster than this unless he has a Scarf, in which case Lopani is outsped anyway. So Lopani here, pretty nice sub uh, Baton Pass set into Crawdon. Uh, I, l I have a lot of momentum here on this team. I think I have two Baton Pass users and one U turn user. Um, U turn Drain Punch hit his entire team for some nice damage and substitute into Baton Pass can eventually. Um, Abuse the Coferius as a switch, and if it's a defensive set, he will probably run like Will O Wisp, um, Shadow Ball, Pain Split, and then either Psychic or um, maybe um, the HP Fighting. Um, HP Fighting would be annoying, but if he's a Shadow Ball Psychic, um, he can't break a sub from my Crawlon. But if he's an offensive variant with um, Trick from Nasty Plot and shit like that, I can like clean all call the Coferius from full, which is also nice. So. That's um, Lopani for you. Next up, I have my bandit Crawdon. Um, GG, it's Trevi. Um, making his. Hopefully, this time it's season that you came to the last game, but. Um, yeah, it didn't. Um, it didn't do. Um, it didn't hit the field, that's what I want to say. Crab Hammer, Knock Off, Aqua Jet, and Sludge Wave. Um, Sludge Wave obviously is here for the Whimsicott with four special attack EVs and a sp minus the death nature instead of um, Adamant. I can Oko the Whimsicott from full if it's max HP, no spell death, which is crazy to think, but yeah, that's crowded for you. That's a nice special attack. Um, Crap had my knockoff and Aqua Jet hit his entire team. Like, Empoleon can't take a knockoff 
like fall like he can't really take a knockoff even crap him, I would do like 40% to a defensive and probably on that's how crazy strong crawler is and if I get it in um, on a substitute or on some slower months like Coferius and Polion, um Shackled Ramp I always get a kill with this thing which is really really good and the HP and defense EVs allow me to take a Magic Champ fake out plus uh, defensive arc 9 extreme speed I think after rocks which is kind of funny <laughs> I thought like that would kind of cool if you just, like just invest in there and then the rest you just put in speed because Chrome doesn't need any more bulk and if he wants to cre um, creep my creep a daunter creeping something like uninvested Empoleon or something um, I would outspeed shit like that so that's kind of cool and I think we also outspeed minimum invested Nido Queen which is also hype um, game plan kinda is to get up get off some big hits um, behind the sub with Chrome with the knocker for example and then potentially clean late game with the aqua jet if that's um, possible so that's my crawl of this week not really that heat but I will hit you with some heat now I and mean, that is Gligar the god coming and it's not a defensive set it's adamant choice scarf <laughs> Gligar coming to the game um, I contemplate going with the defensive set but then I figured yeah what does that do it checks Arcanine and Physical Nido Queen, and that's it because Medicham actually um, O codes with the Ice Punch anyway. And the rest of his threats are Special Attackers or Weaver, which um, always fucks me up. <laughs> Earthquake U turn, Wing Attack, and Stone Edge um, hit his entire team for quite some damage. Earthquake, Tool Chaos Defensive Arcanine after Rocks, um, it O codes Offensive Nido Queen after Rocks, I think, and maybe some chip damage earlier. Stone Edge um, has a chance to kill Thunderous after Rocks, it kills Weaval after Rocks. Medicham takes up to 65% from a wing attack and takes up to 30 from a U turn, which is nice. Um, and Polion gets hit pretty hard by Earthquake, and like Whimsicott obviously gets hit by wing attack and shit like that. So the coverage is pretty nice versus this entire team. Like even Shuckle doesn't appreciate switching into, an, uh, into a Stone Edge, even though it's only 75 um, attack but like with the adamant nature it hits reasonably hard and can really catch my opponent off guard I think um, if he is somehow sent a middle queen on like a slightly weakened middle queen on my Gliger in order to get up rocks I can just outspeed it with the choice scarf unless he is timid scarf himself in which case he would outspeed me and prevent rocks by clicking earthquake but um, preventing rocks isn't that big of a deal because I bring a deep fogger this set at this week um, on my on my Muse set, so it's fine, but I can, can catch potentially Arcanine, Nido Queen, Thunderous, Medicham, and Weaval off guard. Like, Weaval doesn't really have a reason to go for Ice Shot versus Gligar because um, if he doesn't know I'm Scarf, he can just go for a knockoff on Ice and Crash, both of which are very, um, very fine plays um, versus me. So I can potentially like just go for the Use and Oko with the Stone Ash. Um, if I hit, um, say with the Thunderous, if I pivot out on this thing, like if I weaken it with something and then pivot into Gligar on an on an incoming Thunderbolt, he might be inclined to go for HPS and can, I can just hit it with the Stone Edge in order to kill it. So um, that would be nice. I can also like hit Arcanine, as I said, Nero Queen for quite some damage. I can also speed Medicham and kill it with the Wing Attack. And I expect Gligar to put in quite some work if I can get it in and. Um, Make like and I'm and I don't reveal my scarf too early. I can uh, at least get one very clutch kill, so that's kind of lit. <laughs> Next up, I have my Mew. I like I really would have liked to bring a nasty flop Mew or a sword and dance Mew, but I need to switch into Mega Magic Shab and Mew is the only thing on my team that can take take um two hits from Meg, me, um from the me, Mega Shema here. Um, Psychic Defog Willow with Softball Colberberry. Um, very very self-explanatory set. The um, investment allows me to take two high jump kicks from Adam and Maddie after rocks. Um, I don't take much damage from Weaver um, with the knockoff and can just Willow Wisp it. Um, Psychic hits his entire team pretty hard besides the Empoleon, which um, can't really touch me. I can like just softball it up on this thing, Willow it, um, defog rocks away, and then like Psychic it for some chip damage. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> So yeah, um, very nice set. It also does like with the psychic thirty-five percent to defensive Arcanine, so that thing can't really like stall me out or something. Even if he hits me with the Will O' Wisp, um, I can always like softball on it and take any hits he wants to go for. It's also a backup check to a 
physically offensive Arkham Knight, unless he's banned, in which case Flare Blitz has a chance to kill Kaomi. But um, besides that, this Mew set like can put in quite some work, especially versus a more defensive middle queen, um, versus um, like any variant of Medicham, can potentially even like whittle down Corfarius to a point where um, I don't have to go for the knockoff and with my um, Daunt Hand can just not, uh, lock me into lock myself into um, Crab Hammer and yeah like Mew as I said like it's not really a fun set to use but it definitely gets the job done um, I have default here in order to like prevent him from setting up too many layers of T spikes or um, sticky webs with Shuckle, which would be really annoying. So like, I felt like I had to bring Defog, and I didn't want to run Defog on on my Gliger, which I think can fill like a much better role with the Scarf set this week. So yeah, that's it. Next up, I needed definitely a Thunderous check um, and a and another answer to Nidoqueen Queen as well as an offensive Whimsicott or Empoleon, or even like a Corfagrius, and that that's why I decided to bring Still Valley my Bomadi Brolic here. Um, with the assault vest variant, um, the set um, the uh, set here is enough speed for modest Nido Queen, enough special bulk for uh, to never be two hit KO'd by Nido Queen after two rock switch in. So I can come in on rocks, take a sludge wave, use an auto hit with, with the ice beam, and come in later on rocks, take a sludge wave, and get another um, round of ice beam damage off on it, or like, try to take shadow ball, whatever. Um, U-turn is also nice, like just to get in my Daunter safely. Um, this squad as you already have seen, is like banks a lot on momen uh, on momentum, and if I can like um, get in Daunter safely, it can do quite some damage versus <laughs> most of my opponent's team, which would be um, pretty pretty high. So yeah, Silvelli here obviously can't really touch um, or like can't take a hit from Medichan. I kind of played going where like with Silvelli goes from. Preventing him from spamming high jump kick or some shit like that, but um, then again, I would have been too weak to need a quick earth power, and I decided assault vest just is the best set here. So that thunderous can can't really sweep me as long as I um, keep the Silvelli healthy. Like a dual dance thunderous set would actually be a really big problem, but then again, I could potentially toxic stall it with um, my last one, which is the Duke of crew. Um, depending on his investment in this speed um, and if he's a speed nature or modest or something like that. So, so value here, nice um, coverage. Um, the rest of the uh, EVs are just dumped into special attack. Like Ice Beam will to a KO any variant of Thunder Red. Um, try to hit everything reasonably hard. Shadow Ball does um, like 40-ish uh, percent to Corfagrius if it's um, max HP, which is nice. Only thing I can't really touch is the Empoleon, but on that thing I would, would just U-turn out anyway. Um, I spend that's a solid amount to Drampa, it's always a 2 KO unless it's an Assault with Baron. 2 KO is Whimsy Card, and Ice Beam is overall pretty spammable versus my opponent this week, so that's gonna be fun to use. And I think it's, I came up with a nice set here in order to like not get the job by Thunder and Little Queen, and I hope that works out. So um, let's all right into my last one, which is my Bonai Andrew. Um, Tio Kumoku, the god, is such a fun one to use. I love this thing, like it, it looks so stupid, but yeah. Unaware nature, no items, so recover toxic at all, but you already know why it's here. Um, it's here to counter the Weaver. Um, Weaver knockoff does like 30% of 35% to this Pio Kumoku set. Um, and that's if it's adamant life of it. Now, if it's adamant life of I it does like 40, but I'm never too it KO'd by uh. By a life of or bandit, no, I'm never too killed by a bandit adamant knockoff after rocks. Um, I think that's the, what the investment is for, which is really crazy to think. Um, with the investment, I can also take hits from Timid Nido Queen fairly well, and, like with this Pedef investment. I can, like, guaranteed always counter um, Nasty Plot, Trick Room, Corfagrius. I outspeed Iron Trick Room, and Shadow Ball would be like 30 if it's modest or like quiet nature. So I always. Thank any hit. I don't run speed for Shaka because I don't feel like I needed it. Um, I contemplate running no speed because I want to slow but sound but then again, maybe it comes down to like a nice speed tie if I can get off a recover or not, and then like much rather bank on that. Um, so this year, sort of, um, Little Queen can't set up like, like can't not set up anything, but so that I can potentially toxic the Little Queen and like 
to um, if I get to soak off, Middle Queen doesn't have any step to hit me with, and even like a Thunderbolt wouldn't two hit KO me, I think. No, the Thunderbolt would two hit KO me, but Slut Wave and Earth Power would do jack shit to me. Um, Thunderbolt depends on the set, like if it's a Life variant, it can um, potentially two hit KO me, but um, if it's not Life Orb and Timid and shit like that, it can't two hit KO me, so that's nice. But Tompas here again for initiative, like I know there's certain mons like he won't really want to stay in because you know it's like he doesn't want to get toxic can't really touch them when i'm unaware shit like that so the is nice for some nice initiative and you know Piyokumoku actually can put in quite some work once i get rid of thunderous and a very offensive needle queen as well as medicham if he brings those three um women's cup basically wins on his own <laughs> it's crazy to think but he has like besides a thunderous and adamant shammer and a very offensive Nido Queen, uh, also like offensive whimsy card, but that thing is easily dealt with. He can't break through Piyokumoku, which is super hype. Like Weaver can't do KO, Arcanine can't do KO, unless it's Banded Wild Charge, in which I have like easy checks in the back uh, with Gligar and Mew. And yeah, <laughs> Piyokumoku actually, as stupid as it sounds, with a mon that has, doesn't have an attacking move, um, it's a win condition in this game, which is kind of funny, but. Um, actually pretty hype. I have to use it. I hope it will put in quite some work and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So, um, that battle will go up on uh, Saturday, just like always, and yeah, it should be fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my team builder. Uh, I hope you, I hope you are impressed by the heat I bring, and if it works out, you should be impressed. Like, Scott Lager like, is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I hope to hit my boy Scotty with the GG as Aki here at the end of the match, but. We'll see about that. Um, definitely gonna be a tough one because um, he has a bunch of threats, but I feel like I prepped fairly well in order to beat my boy Scoot and improve to 2-2 two two in the PMC Orange League in order to um, repeat as champion of the of this league, so that would be kinda hype. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like and comment if you enjoyed and catch you in the battle.